and I'm sitting here across from her and y'all know the whole me and my facial expressions and I'm just like <laughs> I'm trying not to stare at her Welcome back to my channel. For those of you all are new, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for joining. My name is Alexia Nicole and I am living my life by design. Um, so if y'all watched my last vlog, it ended with me coming home from the hospital with back spasms. It has been a week since then, since I've flown. Um, not because I was in pain, because I was on reserve and I did not get used. It was the most uneventful week of my life. Like there was nothing to vlog, nothing to talk about. I was so bored. Um, but I did go see Black Panther and Fifty Shades Freed. Loved both of those movies. Um, but yeah, so that's a catch up literally of what I did last week. Nothing at all. So now I'm on my way to the shuttle stop. I have a four day trip starting today. Um, and yeah, so let's go. Hi guys. So it's almost time to take off. We just finished boarding, but um, a little aircraft maintenance going on. So we're gonna take care of that. It's gonna be a long six hour and 37 minute flight to uh, San Diego. I didn't tell y'all where I'm going. I'm going to San Diego. This is my first time going to San Diego. Excited. Anyways, see y'all there or on the way there or whenever. All right, hi guys. Just landed in San Diego. We had a nice six hour and 37 minute flight. But it's only 8 p.m. here, so I think me and the crew are about to go out and get some margaritas and, oh my God, they're walking so fast. <laughs> I'm like trying to catch the shuttle. We're gonna get some margaritas and uh, hopefully wherever this margarita place is, has some tacos and enchiladas. Cause Big Mama is hungry, okay? It feels so nice out here. Like it's windy, a little chilly, but it feels good. Like if I just put on a light jacket. So go to the hotel, take this off and go eat. So we have a nice big spacious room only one bed y'all know i like two but it's cute take a look walk through the door all of this floor area tv desk chair king size bed restroom over here have a nice stand-up shower you know Let's go check out the view though, because I hear a lot of noise outside my room and that's not necessarily a good thing because we're supposed to be in hotel rooms where we can get good rest without a lot of noise. So, oh, it's the pool right out here. Wow, it's breezy. But this is my view from the balcony, the pool. Maybe it'll look better in the morning. This is a nice size balcony. It's kind of cute. So we've made it to um, Kings and Queens Cantina. It's like nine of us. One crew that came in from Boston, our crew, and one of the pilots came with us. So we're gonna have some margaritas and some cantina, maybe some food. You wanna say hi to my vlog? To your who? It's my YouTube vlog. Hi! This is Chanel. <laughs> and guess what? My boyfriend bought it. He's a, I don't know how he, he thought he was at Mac and then he went and bought this Chanel, but I love it. So I'm thankful. Good morning. Good happy. Is this still morning? Oh, yeah. It's 9 35. Still in San Diego. Um, I've had a good morning so far. Went to the gym. Now I'm about to go meet up with one of my crew members and we're going to go get some breakfast. But you know what? I just realized I did a horrible job unpacking for this trip. So I was trying to pack lightly so my roller board won't be so heavy. 
and I ended up not packing like nothing. But I literally packed, where am I going? I packed like one and a half outfits for a four day trip with a whole bunch of workout clothes. So, I don't know. My next two layovers, the next two nights really aren't that long. So we found a brunch spot. It's called Snooze Eatery. There's one in Houston and I love it. And they always have like the longest line. And of course there's a wait here at this one too. But we're gonna do it. So of course I've come into Urban Outfitters. I haven't shopped in Urban Outfitters since I used to work in the mall. Well, it's about three years ago. Um, and I'm getting myself in trouble, but I need outfits. I'm going to um, Napa Valley or Sonoma or something next weekend for my friend's birthday and I want cute little wine country outfits. So, let's shop. Look at how cute these little shorts are though. Like, child, I might have to try these things on. I'm getting a cute little onesie to put on with like just some denim. Love it. What do you think? Cute. Is that Leslie, you like this hat? I can never get hat. You know, I never really used to wear hats because I thought it would look funny because I didn't have hair, but now I just wear them all the time. I do like this hat. Perfect timing. Got some goodies from Urban, and our table is ready. Time to eat. So they just oh, had this with the complimentary OMG French toast. It is OMG good. <laughs> oh my gosh. I might not need a pancake after this. <laughs> so we ate some good food. Now we're just gonna kind of walk down here. I guess this is this is Hillcrest area. So I think it's still considered downtown San Diego. I'm gonna walk this breakfast off a little bit. We have some time to pass. It's only 11.30 a.m. The time change, y'all. This East Coast, West Coast stuff. So, our shuttle doesn't come until 8 p.m. So, I don't want to sit in the hotel all day. Y'all know I don't like doing that. Well, we'll just go sightseeing. I decided to get a massage, guys. Oh, Randomness. Okay, so we go. We're going to work out these back kinks. Okay, perfect. Okay. Time to get a massage. An hour deep tissue massage. Yesterday when I was flying my back, my lower back, not the same side of my back that it was hurting last time, but my lower back was hurting um so i think i'm gonna have to start getting massages a little more frequently now and y'all know I, I don't know if y'all know but i already go to the chiropractor pretty often also but <sighs> time to enjoy this <sighs> massage was amazing i'm really gonna have to start doing that weekly to work these muscle kinks out i feel so loose i haven't felt like this like in forever forever ever all right we're back to the hotel it is 146 going to just relax now we have a red eye to boston tonight so i need a rest where's the button oh everything is gone all right i'm up from my nap i was rushing to get ready because it's seven and the van was coming at eight and I just had the inkling to do my makeup. And then I just got a phone call that our flight is a little delayed. So that means I get an extra 30 minutes. We don't have to leave until 8.30 now. Thank goodness. I hate rushing. I don't know why I keep doing this to myself. My checks for first class are a little different than working in the core. 
Are we supposed to have the same meals on this? No, what are we supposed to have? That's, this is yours from the other plate? No, that's what was on here. This is my favorite. I oh, didn't they see it in there. Yet? They must not have. Well, oh, they do. And what I was saying was, my checks are a little bit different because I have to check this entire galley to make sure that we have been catered for all the meal service that we have to do. So it's a little bit more when I'm F2. When I'm F1, he does more of the setup of the seats and everything like that. So it's going to be a quick four and a half hour flight to Boston. And then we'll be on our merry way. See y'all later. Service is over. We let the pilots out for their little potty break. It is 1 a.m. wherever we are. 3 a.m. New York time. We're from Boston time. We're headed to Boston. We still have about another three hours of flight time. And I, I am not a red eye girl, y'all. This is not my favorite thing to do. So I'm like trying to drink some tea with some caffeine and stay awake Ooh. and that massage that I got earlier I'm feeling it all now like I feel every bit of pressure that he put on my body it is like uh, but I know this day over isn't gonna be that great because it's Boston about 6 so I'll probably get in the hotel laying down by about 7 a.m. and then I'll report I think shuttle time is about 3 or 4 p.m. or is it later than that? I don't know. I can't remember. So we'll see what happens. I'll probably just lay in the bed the whole time. Eat, eat the food that I cooked. I'm not buying no more food. At least not, not today. Maybe when I get to LA tomorrow evening or whatever. Might get something there. But the plane is so quiet. That's the one like amazing thing about red eye flights. We call them shut eye flights here. People eyes are shut and everybody is sleeping and nobody's like up in the aisle. And it's just real peaceful, but hard to stay awake. You want to see the most awkward jump seat ever? So this is my seat. Folds out. This is a jump seat. And then I sit here across from customer that is staring dead at me. I'm tired. We just made it to Boston. It is 624. Everyone has deplaned except for one gentleman that has lost something. And of course we can't get off the plane until everybody else is off this plane. So he's cutting into my nap time, y'all. He needs to come on, whatever he lost. Can't be that important. What's up? I just need to go to bed. But let me tell y'all about the lady that was sitting across from me in the jump seat. Like to chew gum for takeoff and landing, you know, for the whole ear popping thing. She was on that gum, like. And I'm sitting here across from her. And y'all know the whole me and my facial expressions. And I'm just like. <laughs> I'm trying not to stare at her and her obnoxious gum chewing. <laughs> and the poor guy in the seat, so the middle seat was empty, but the guy in the aisle seat, he had on his headphones. That's how loud she was chewing that gum, and he kept looking at her. Right. Like, what is he doing up there? He's gone. Oh, he lost something. <laughs> but yeah just that's what she did it for, for takeoff so I don't ever come back to the jump seat during flight so the whole five hours or whatever we were in flight I don't sit here I either sit in the back or up front but so when I had to get back in the seat for landing she back at it with her gun <sighs> lord have mercy anyways Let's go catch the shuttle. Go to the hotel. Good afternoon. Eight hours of sleep definitely was not enough, but here we are, heading to Los Angeles. Yay! <laughs> it's 
So we just got to the airport and our flight is delayed about 35 minutes. So I'm at Pop Belly's getting a little sandwich. I haven't done really good this trip as far as not eating out. Yeah, tuna. Can I get lettuce, tomatoes, and pickles with a little bit of mayo, please? Yeah. So, yeah. We're delayed a little bit, but that's okay. Because we get to sit down and actually enjoy our meal without having to rush to stuff our face. So, it is what it is. So, in the number two position, once we get up to 10,000 feet, I go up to first class, make sure everybody's comfortable, get them anything that they need, and then I come back to the core cabin, and I do rows 24 through 29. I get their drinks and beverages, knock them out, and then I'm pretty much done with the back of core. Then everything else I do is up front. So that's what I'm doing right now. So it's just me doing beverage and snack service. The other two people work in the core cabin. They're selling um, our headphones and snack boxes. So it kind of gives me time to knock out my section so I can get it done quickly and then go back up front and help the number one. So let me stop talking to y'all and pour up these drinks. So now I'm back up front doing um, first class meals. And it kind of is like a assembly line. Like I'm the kitchen chef and Karen is the waiter. 3A, 2, 3, and 5. So he takes the orders. And I prepare the trays and he takes them out to the people. people get them other things we kind of have like a small second service to do later on like an hour hour and a half before we land but other than that we just maintain the cabin and carry on so hopefully we get there soon because I am so tired from earlier today that little less than eight hour rest time was not okay <laughs> made it to LAX and I just met one of my subscribers. She was on my flight. Didn't say anything the whole time until we were getting off. But shout out to Jessica. Good luck on your blue review. Hope to see you on the line soon. Good morning. So it is 9.35 a.m. West Coast time. And I'm just now waking up. <laughs> so ridiculous. This trip has been like, uh-oh. This trip has been extremely exhausting. Like I checked Flicka and somebody was requesting a swap for one trip that I have next month for a different trip. And they wanted to trade my trip for this trip that I'm actually working right now. And I kindly declined that. Like four days were okay in core because most of the time you would stay on like one side of the world, like East Coast and do like a few two hour flights or express flights here and there. So I never really felt like those drained me so much. But going east coast to west coast to east coast to west coast, and then yesterday with that day layover, it has just really worn me out. So this is probably a trip that I will be avoiding from now on with that day layover. I need like a full night's rest, y'all. Like, <laughs> I cannot function like this. But this is the last day. We head back to JFK um, at 2.20, and then we get in about 11 30 p.m new york time and then i have one more trip that i start tomorrow night actually back to la where i am now 
It's just a two day trip. And um, then I'm done for the month. And as of right now, I have two weeks off. So we'll see if I decide to pick up anything. But I'm about to head down to the gym, get a good, see if, my, if I charge my headphones. I don't think they're charged. My headphones haven't been charging lately. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to head down to the gym, get a nice little workout in, and getting ready for work. So, talk to y'all later. We are at the airport. Everything seems to be on time today. Heading back to JFK to end this wonderful four day. And then come right on back tomorrow night, start another trip. Okay, it's all good. We found food. They have all kind of interesting looking something. Avocado, cherry. Oh, I think I want some of that. Do you serve this like by the... By portion. By portion? Okay, can I have some of this avocado and cherry tomatoes, please? To go, yes. Just landed and trying not to get left by the shuttle. And thank you, God, it's still there. <sighs> Took those people. No, he's leaving. <sighs> Made the shuttle, barely. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, I am about to just go lay it on down. I have another trip starting tomorrow night. I think my report is like 8 p.m. back to LA. So thank you for watching this vlog. I truly hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Until next time.